What's up, guys? We're back on our road to Dark Aether here on my second account. And in our last video, our top comment was from Candice. Come on. You already know the top comment is going to be from Cam. Cam wants us to get the Gallo done on Firebase. So that's what we'll be doing today. And if you guys want to suggest a weapon, make sure you leave it in a comment below as well as the map you want to see me play on. I will also have a pinned comment down there of what weapons we have completed. That way we don't have any repeats. If you want to see a DLC weapon, please make sure to wait until after we have Dark Aether. I just want to get the weapon classes done that we don't already. Now, this is going to be our second shotgun done if we can complete it today. Uh, I got it max level. I don't even remember getting it max level. I went to go stream uh, earlier today to get it done. And then I, if the levels were already there. So I don't know how that happened. But for our camo progress, we're going to have to get a lot done today. I think it's about the same as with the Hauer. And it took us like 60 rounds to get the Hauer done. So we got a lot on our plate. We have like 2,000 of everything to get, basically. But Vintage is done, Fauna is done, Topo is basically done, and Infection will get it very, very fast. But for our attachments, I'm going with the Agency Choke, the Task Force Barrel, the Ember Sighting Point, the 12-round Tube, and the Marathon Stock. And for our field upgrade, I'm going to go with Tesla Storm. Uh, Ring of Fire could be nice. Uh, it might be better with the Gallo as opposed to the Hauer since the Gallo is semi-auto. But I think Tesla Storm might be our best bet. And we have way too much to do, so let's go ahead, hop on Firebase, and start knocking these camos out. All right, here we go. Driving on in with the twin. Dude needs to change his fit. We can't both be showing up in this. But like I was saying earlier, it was an absolute struggle to get everything done for our Hauer last time. I think with the pellet spread, like right there, uh, getting crits is kind of difficult with shotguns. It's going to take a lot of time and a lot of precision and accuracy. Oh, my Lanta. So we're, we're going to have to fly through this. I'm going to try my best to get as many headshots as I can. But also, I haven't used a shotgun against Orta in a long time, so I'm curious to see how that goes. Uh, I think the last time we tried to use a shotgun on Orta, it was a street sweeper, and I just got caught, like, trying to reload too much and, you know, focusing on the zombies too much because, you know, the shotguns, obviously, they don't have a whole lot of range. What? How do I not have enough for this door? How am I 10 short? Oh, you got me f***ed up. And I forgot that there's an actual Gallo in there. I could have made a custom mod and just grabbed that and had a higher rarity. But no, I'm dumb. All right, where's a zombie? Come here. I'm going to crit on you for sure. Wait for it. There we go. Might as well just take out the rest of these guys. Waste his time, 2021. There we go. There's another. What do you got for me? Bonus points? Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm gonna pay me back for those points you screwed me on. I see what you're doing here, Treyarch. You're not fooling anybody. We got 1,400. I think we still have to save up a little more before we can open the next two doors to get our first reactor on. Shut up, Peck. Don't speak to me. Yeah. Yeah. I knew you were coming. I played this map way too much. I'm gonna walk around ADS because I know if I try to get the aim assist to help me out, it's going right for bellies. We don't need belly shots. We got our entropathy camo there. Every time I shoot the Gallo, it makes a sound like it's almost out of ammo. Like that. The tink, tink. It's almost like an M1 Grand. Like a diet M1 Grand sound. Okay, round four. Let's make sure we grab all these. I'm not grabbing that insta-kill as much as I want to. I just know the pellet spread's gonna make it, so I'm getting nothing but body shots instead of headshots. I think we have enough to open this door. Yep, and we have enough to start the reactor right away. Perfect. Let's go over here and grab our loose change from stamina up. Oh, oh, what is wrong with me? I haven't played this map in so long. Hold on. Gone. Sleep. I said sleep. Go to bed. Good night. Good riddance. Sunder camo and grind the rail. Let's go. Can't believe I missed that first time through. I'll go do it again just to make sure the rail knows that you didn't forget it on purpose. There we go. And our reactor's done. Let's head on over here. Shut up, Pack. Shut your mouth. Open this. Hop on down here. Bada boom, bada bing. Grab this loose change. Hey, do you guys mind getting off of this reactor? Who's gonna pay for this? We're on round five. I feel like I'm behind today. Normally, we're done with this reactor by round four. Actually, I don't even know. I feel like I always think that I'm done with this reactor by round five, but I'm not. I ain't that fast. There was a time where I tried to speed run getting power on in this map, trying to get it before a certain round. I think I confused a lot of people because I thought I was speedrunning the Easter egg and I don't think I even did the Easter egg at that point. I was just like, no, I want to get power on around five, which I do not think is possible. Whoa, what was up with that zombie's body? You see that? Shot him, he went flying all the way over here. But we got another reactor down, one to go. I think we might have enough money to open up that door. So I'm just going to buy a speed cola while we're right here. Because one, we build up our fill upgrade faster and two, we reload faster. And three, I'm about to shred this rail. Ah, uh, I still got it. He says as he misses a shot. And let's pop this open. Oh my, I'm 200 short. Wait for it. Just need 50 more points. 
There we go. Don't want that nuke though. Y'all can keep that. I just want this door open. And I actually, I'm gonna need a little more points to start the reactor. Just one more kill. Okay, there we go. And then we can get the extra 100 from the jug loose change. Let's grab that. Perfect. And let's start her up. Yeah, I wanna see you try to take down this reactor, zombies. I really do. It's gonna be nothing but Dalmers for me. Okay, maybe not that one. Another zombie here. Oh, I'm a failure. It's round six and I don't have power on. Cringe. Oh, and that's the round. Or not the round, that's the reactor. We got some double points here though. I'm gonna give it a second. I'm gonna wait for the zombies to start spawning back in before I touch it. All right, there we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, come on. I'm getting no crits now. All right, listen guys, listen. We can talk about this. You know what? Let's Tesla storm now. Get some points. As long as we just don't kill the zombies with Tesla Storm. I just want to get a little bit of points off them. Jeez, I need dead shot bad. I cannot just loose aim with this controller. I can't do it. Oh, no crits for me. Took your sweet time with that, didn't you? Eat my taint, Peck. Oh, Mimic, what's up, dude? Fuck, dude. Don't you ever grab me? I'll spit in that fucking mouth. All right, we're grabbing dead shot immediately. There we go. Now we're getting some crits. Some much needed crits. Let's grab pack punch while we're right here. Ooh, we're going in now. I've said this every video since I've started playing on this account. Deadshot is insane on controller. There's such a huge difference. You saw I was aiming before. Now I look like a pro. What? Really quick. This is what the gallo looks like. Pack a punch one here on Firebase. Probably the least exciting looking pack a punch camo. Like actually extremely boring. But it's ours. We'll deal with it. And now let's go ahead and get our free jug. Let's just wait for the zombie to come up here. Well, bam. Now look at me, bunny. Look at me now. There we go. Come to pop. Uh, you know what? Might as well get a few extra kills. Oh, he just danced. Oh, get it. Okay. He was just dancing to Maxis laughing kind of weird but do your thing that's so funny i i've only recently seen that that's actually like something that can happen i've played this map so many times and i've probably seen that happen twice granted i'm probably not looking out for it but it's weird that that's like that scene so little let's see if he dances nope gone okay where's the next bunny Jeez, it is so dark in here god damn all right the next bunny's all the way over here they got the mimic didn't even get the crit kill on him whatever all right watch this I'm going to guess the gun we're getting out of this, and I'm going to say it's an MP5. Not even near the chest yet. Look, I'm still talking. I'm still talking. So you see that there's no cuts. It's a knife. Okay, never mind. I'm a failure. We got Jug, though. All right, we still need some more perks, and we need armor. So let's go see if we can grab armor real quick. Oh, shit. Get away from me. What's that? Bonus points? We take those. Yeah, let's grab armor. We can grab armor level two. So let me kill off a few zombies and do that. Okay, there's armor level two. And we can get our Gallo green. Oh, of course. They give me armor right after I buy it to save some salvage. The gal is so schnasty. If I wasn't just going for crits, I'd already have like 18 million kills. We got our contamination camo there. We're already almost done with our jackrabbits. We're very close. Okay, how much damage is this doing with a headshot? Let's see. Hold on. 2,800 something? 2,853. Okay. So when we get it fully packed with a dead shot bonus, I wonder how much that's going to do to Orda and if we can even take him down. Because I'm going to be surprised if we can. I have not had success with shotguns against him. Only an outbreak I have. So we will grab Quick Revive and Mule Kick. And then next we'll get Death Perception, just so we can start building up on our salvage, getting them upgrades in. Should be good. I should probably put an ammo mod on this soon too. So let's do that. After I kill this guy, let's grab Cryo. And what dropped there? A nuke? Don't want that. Now the one thing, yeah, if we don't we don't really talk about Vanguard zombies here. We you know, it's like Voldemort. Never seen Harry Potter though, fake fan. Uh but you know, Vanguard zombies. Obviously, probably the worst iteration of zombies we've ever seen. And uh, it, it kind of turned me off from Vanguard completely. But I'll be back on it since I'll be I'm playing some Warzone now. I need to level up some weapons. But the one thing Vanguard zombies did right is they have a covenant that auto reloads your gun. And I want that in here. Like, can you imagine having a street sweeper and not having to reload it? Or it reloads it every like point whatever seconds. Like, I would love that. Because that just makes me ex way more lazy. It'll save me so much time than sitting there reloading the shotgun be so nice but we got our glitch camo we're moving up in the world we're at round 10 we have an assault wave that's gonna be coming here soon and we're about 20 rounds out from orda all right what perks do we need now we're gonna get death perception and we'll safe up for the rest honestly should i use tesla storm maybe we try out some different ones let's see what it's like with ring of fire We'll, we'll we'll try ring of fire for a little bit and then i kind of want to see what aether shroud's like i'm really only going to be using it to reload my shotgun faster oh thanks for updating modern warfare otherwise known as Warzone. Speaking of that, Warzone, I think they're 
their kernel, the, the anti-cheat kernel just got installed today. Cause I, I had a, before I recorded this video, there was an update for Warzone and it had to give me, or I had to give it administrator access to do it. Oh, con conviction came out. We're all done with our jackrabbits, but I think it's time. I think Ricochet's finally starting to go out. So hopefully there's way, way less cheaters in Warzone. And I think that'll make it a lot better because I've been having a lot of fun with the new map. So if you guys haven't seen uh, any of my Warzone videos yet, I think I have two up on the new map now. I, I think you guys would like those a lot if you like these kind of videos. It's just me and my friends messing around, doing the same kind of BS that we do here in Zombies. We're just slapping in Warzone. But we got another 9k. What perk are we getting? Let's get stamina. I think I'm gonna start using decoys more instead of stuns. Even though there are a lot of elites on this map, the, the manglers and the, the mimics go crazy. But if we can just get zombies to sit in one spot on a decoy, it's gonna make crits so much easier. Oh, we got shotgun master. 5,000 eliminations with shotguns. Seems kind of light. Hey, ring of fire is kind of nice with this. Downfall camo, 750 kills while it's pack a punch. We're making our way downtown, walking fast, faces past, and I'm homebound. Jeez, round 13, still no assault wave? What's the deal? I guess we'll get PhD too, and we're ready to go. Besides like pack a punching. Look at this. I would have just saved the ammo mod or a custom mod. I could have had it blue tier. All right, let's go over here to the armory. Actually, no, we're, we're gonna make our way to armory. I'm gonna go sit in weapons lab and try to knock out some camos there while we wait for this assault wave to show up. What's up, armor station? Now we got it blue. Can't get it quite purple yet, but we can get armor tier three. Now let's see how good we are at getting crits in here with a shotgun. Cause we are on like different levels, vertically speaking. Like there, there's, there's steps over there. This is the biggest problem with the shotgun. I can't believe I just ran around there without getting hit. Kind of crazy. Bonus points, we take those. Is it possible to have two of the same weapon in zombies? Could I have two gallows and just have one on my back and just switch between them? Oh well, who cares? We have an assault wave. What's up, Mimic? Go ahead, show up. Yeah, bitch. I don't think I don't know. All right, here comes our assault wave. Yeah, which one are they coming through? I think they can only come through these two. I'm gonna take them head on. Headstrong to take you on. Hey, turret, relax. I got this covered. And there's a wave. I'm just brutalizing these zombies. They have no idea. Is that it? Oh my God, we're already done. That was the fastest assault wave ever. We actually just got in their face and ended it. But I still don't know how much I like having ring of fire for a shotgun. Because there are going to be times where I'm reloading a lot. And there's going to be times where I need to reload and I don't have my ring of fire ready. So like... We're going to be in big trouble if we don't have Ring of Fire and we don't have like a decoy to throw or if there's not enough room to train. But I guess we'll, we'll keep trying. Why are so many nukes dropping? I don't want those. Drop me double points. Okay, getting low on ammo here. I'm going to throw a decoy out so I can reload. Love that it reloads multiple at a time though when it's pack a punch. That's King Energy. Uh, Going over here, Ring of Fire. Yeah, I think I'm going to switch to Aether Shroud. I think that's the better call. All right, let's try out Aether Shroud. Where are you at, pal? Let's edit this one, change this to Aether Shroud. We have enough to get packed too, so let's go grab it. Let's check on our stats while we're making our way there. We have 353 crits out of 438 possible. I grabbed Pack-A-Punch through the menu because I am a genius. And while I'm running around here for my life, let's take a look at the Pack-A-Punch 2 here on the Gallo. Looking really nice. I, I just wish Pack-A-Punch 1 looked a lot better because two and three are pretty good. I guess since all the zombies are already spawned in here, I don't want to wait for them to spawn in again when we get back. Let's just get a few kills. By a few, I mean all of them. Or maybe we'll leave one. That way we can reset the spawns. Oh, double points. Let's go. That's what I've been asking for. Let's go, baby. This is what it's all about. That's what I've been waiting for. Oh yeah, crit city. And we got one zombie left. So I'm gonna go ahead and head through the portal and kill him when I get there. That way we get all the spawns nice and neat where we need to be. Let's see if we can upgrade our gun too. See if we can get this bad boy to purple. Nope, but we should probably repair our armor. Goodbye zombie. All right, we have one Aether Shroud ready. Uh, about like a quarter of the way to another one because it's it's kind of sick. You can hold two Aether Shrouds. I was just like that for like all field upgrades. You can hold them all up until like five. Imagine having five Toxic Growths or five Ring of Fires ready to go. Using those back to back to back. How fun that be you know i i don't think we're gonna get a, a year two for cold war unfortunately as much as i would want one i just don't see it happening but what would be cool is if they added a mode where you can do custom zombies like it may be not as in-depth as black ops 3 because i know like cosmetics are an issue now to where somebody could just put the cosmetics into whatever custom map so you didn't have to like pay for them but what they could do is make it so you can apply settings like start on this round 
uh you get this many field upgrades these are the only tacticals and lethals that spawn are like wonder weapons only or you could set it to play like i don't know old zombies where you start with a 1911 i mean obviously you can set your loadout like that but you can make it so like oh no field upgrade like it, it would be a fun way to play zombies it'd be really cool if they added that but we are at our boundary camo 750 crits not too far behind our pack-a-punch camo because we just got that like a few rounds ago and we should be able to upgrade our gallo next round we should be able to get it to purple. Yeah, I think Aether Shroud is definitely the move. So we used one last round, and we already have another one ready to go, and we're almost at two. So this thing fills up fast, and we're going to have multiple at a time. So our strat could be to throw the decoy before we Aether Shroud. That way that the zombies all stay in one place. Because if you guys have noticed, when you hit Aether Shroud, all the zombies like run to specific areas to get away from you. Like I'll hit that, and they all start taking off. So if we throw the decoy first, do they stay distracted by the decoy? We'll try that next time we need an Aether Shroud. And we can upgrade our Gallows, so let's do that. Get it to purple, repair our armor a little bit. Zombie, get the fuck off me. Oh shit, there's a few. All right, we'll worry about the rest of that later. We're kind of schlapping. Okay, I'm throwing the decoy now. Now I'll Aether Shroud to get that ammo back up. Okay, it looks like they do stay at it. The zombies that weren't near here won't, but everyone else just kind of stands still, which is nice for me. Ooh, round 20, right on the dot, we got another assault wave. Let's go. We're not playing around this time. And we're extremely close to being able to get pack three. We got 28,000. After this round, we should be able to get it. We actually got everything we needed pretty fast. Like, we got power on slower than normal. Oh, wait, there's a mimic. Hold on. Come here. I'm right down here, pal. Come get me. But we got power on slower than normal, but I think we got all of our perks and all of our pack tiers pretty fast. Which one are they coming from? Middle. Come here. <laughs> Oh, this entire horde's already gone. Okay, where are the rest coming from? Let me reload. Right this way. Mangler, you're, there's no exception for you. There we go. All done. 37,000 too. Let's go ahead. Head back and grab pack three. Just to play it safe, I'm going to Aether Shroud to grab it. There we go. And how much money do we have? Let's just grab Tombstone. Why not? We're in the business of burning money. And then I'll show pack three once this round's over. Right now, we got crits to get. Okay. I just used my Aether Shroud. You guys saw that. I've only gotten a few kills since then. After I take out this whole horde, I'll have another one. Ready? Bam, bam, bam. All of them are gone. Most of them are gone. We're already almost there to another Aether Shroud. And there you have it. We got another one. Aether Shroud fills up so fast. It's actually a very underrated uh, field upgrade. It's not very widely used because it doesn't increase your power or anything. It just increases your survivability. But with certain weapons, it definitely does help. Like with these shotguns, that auto reload is very, very nice. All right, we got one little crawler buddy left. So this is what Pack Punch 3 looks like on the gallo. Love that these gloves go so well with Pack-a-Punch camos. In Pack 3, obviously beautiful. Pink and purple. Very nice combination. Very nice colors. It's a very good looking gun. All right, Crawler. See you later. I'm out of here. Do I have enough salvage for anything? Nope. We have 300 blue salvage. We need 1,000. So we're just a little, a little behind on getting this thing legendary. Just a, just a smidge. But we're getting closer and closer to Orda. Honestly, now that I kind of know how Aether Shot's going to work and how fast we're going to be able to get it, I'm excited to see what this thing can do against them. And I think before he, like, you know how he starts so far away and it takes forever for him to get to the beach. Like, we normally, with most long-range weapons, kill him before he can even get to the beach. I think I'll just go for crits until he gets close, and then I'll just Aether Shroud and go for him. But now we're at 1,500 kills total with the, the Gallo. Not bad. Uh-oh. Let's throw the decoy down and Aether Shroud. Yeah, stay in here, dumbasses. Yeah, this is only the only big issue with Aether Shroud is that everyone's running out. And even if I throw a decoy, it seems like only a few are staying for the decoy. So let me just train up here for a second. Mimic or Mangler, whatever your name is, don't care. You're dead. Plus ratio. Okay, let's lead them all in here. I'm throwing the decoy right there. Idiots. All of you. Super dumb. Throw another one down. Perfect. And then we Aether Shroud. Catch him on the way out. Mimic doesn't even want to leave the room. He's scared. And that is the round. Is it? Where's our last zombie? Come on. They're going to ruin my, my commentary. 707 crits were honestly not doing bad. Last time, I feel like we didn't get to that 1,000 crits for until, like, I don't know, round 35 or something. So now that I have the shotgun experience under my belt, we're doing a little better. Nope. Not getting in. Oh, come on. Come through the window. It's safe. Come on. Sleep. Goodbye. Oh, shit. They're already behind me. Let's loop for a second in here. Throw the decoy down. And then we Aether Shroud. Never mind. We don't have it. Now we do. What happened? Will they go to the decoy while I'm in my Aether Shroud? Not if they're already running away, it doesn't look like. Okay, I'm all out of decoys after our testing. Oh, there's no one on the ground right where I threw one. Convenient. 
1069 eliminations sex oh and i just realized we have a thousand salvage let's get this gold perfect we're all ready to go we got absolutely everything upgraded all of our perks besides elemental and i'm probably not gonna grab elemental until like round 35 because we do not need it yet I'm actually gonna try training up this whole round i'm gonna do what i do with like shatter blast but just try to take all the zombies out with just the shotgun because i think it can do that i think it's strong enough for that just gotta make sure i get the elites out of here because they will not get distracted by uh a decoy i'm talking about you mimic hold on aether shroud okay so much for training them i got cornered once and gave up on the plan Okay, we have all the zombies trained. I'm gonna throw a decoy down. Oh, yeah. That was massive. This method's definitely a lot slower, though. I'm going back in the room. I don't know why I'm so indecisive in zombies, but I just try to find the most, like, efficient and effective way of getting the camos done. I like to test things out and see if, like, maybe something I'm doing could be a little faster if I do it a different way. I okay, gotta throw down the decoy. Gonna eat the shroud. Rinse and repeat. It's gonna be a whole lot of this till Orta shows up. All right, we broke the threshold here on crits. We're at 1,020 now. Now, every crit you've seen me get in this video, we need to double that. Everything we've already done. Gotta do it all again. Uh-oh. No Aether Shroud, no decoys. Oh, thank God for the Hellhound. And I accidentally hit the nuke. Okay. The Hellhound was a, was a true hero, though. Came in and knocked all the zombies over to save me. Appreciate that one, Hellhound. Round 31, still no Orta. He's hiding. He's shy. He knows that we've discovered the power of the, the Howler and the Gallo. He doesn't want that shotgun action. Oh, there's that threshold camo. 1,500 kills or 1,500 crits. So when we're at 1,180 or 2,180, we should be done. Hellhound, what are you doing? What? They really broke Hellhounds. Oh, no. Decoy, go. Bought me a little time there. That Hellhound's distracted me so bad I almost died. So maybe they buffed Hellhounds. Round 32. Still no Orta. Nowhere to be seen. No, no, no. We're gonna go down. Oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. Holy shit. The Mimic actually saved me. That's twice. That's twice an Elite have saved me. A Mimic and a, hell, a Hellhound has saved me this game. Oh, um, okay, Mimic. Don't don't try your luck, pal. I'll still kill you. That was insane, though. I really thought I was about to go down over some stupid shit. A decoy. Mind going down, please? That's the one thing that needs to go down is the fucking decoy. Now we're all out of decoys. And all out of aether shrouds. We just gotta get the hell out of here. PhD, go! Ooh! 58 health. Okay, I think we're getting to the point where this room is not that survivable. But it's alright, because Ord is here and he's not looking that survivable either. We can take him out. Show him what it feels like to be in that room. First, let me repair my armor. Now let's head on down. It's looking like we got the balcony spawn this time. Too bad we don't have a long range weapon to use against them from there. But if we can somehow, you know, stay laying shots on them while using our aether shrouds, like timing them well to reload, I think we can take them out pretty easily. Well, I guess it won't be easy. There's gonna be a lot of strategy here, but I have high hopes. Come on in, you big bitch. Yeah. Can I shoot it from here? No. Okay, they're already spawning in over here. Get our crits while we're waiting for the big fuck to show up by mangler oh there's a whole nother horde coming let's just try to keep him off of the thing there we go Can we shoot order from here uh oh the zombie's gonna try to do something about it we have a free artillery strike that we should probably use on our little thing our, our machine i'll let them run past never mind they're not gonna run past here's a decoy enjoy that enjoy this nade too all right order's close enough for sure we can't hit him though what the hell is this or his hitbox is so jank. Hold on. Let me keep these guys off of here. Might be a little too late for that, but it's whatever. Let's Aether Shroud. Can we hit Orda? We're hitting him in the penis. Let's do it a little bit. Let's do it as much as we can. Orda's just taking these cock shots. He's got a dick of steel. What the hell's going on? Oh, Hellhound. Jeez. What are these Hellhounds doing? They're all sitting on me, not doing anything. We got our rotten camo. At least we're getting something out of this fight. I'm gonna run in here and nade, and then I guess we'll we'll keep trying on them. But I don't I don't see it going any further than this. Yeah, we're completely out of ammo too. Yeah, I don't think it's possible to kill Orda with a shotgun here. Look at this. I mean, it's doing decent damage, I guess, but this hitbox is so disjointed. A lot of the time, it's not even hitting. I guess I can get his foot a little bit, but that's it. That's all she wrote. Later, Orda. That's disappointing. I guess let's just turn the power on in here. Might as well. Oh, double points. At least we get somewhat rewarded. But that's gonna suck, because I think we're probably gonna have to fight Orda at least one, maybe even two more times if we're going off of how we went for the Hower. And all those times, we're not gonna be able to kill him. I guess it's just free crits. 
We just pay attention to the zombies and ignore Orta. I hate that. I don't, I don't like letting Orta win. And yeah, we almost got this reactor on. We're also getting near to destroying it. We just need one more kill though. There we go. Say goodbye, zombies. Goodbye. All right, we need to craft a few more decoys. I guess we're going to go to Colonel's now. I still haven't said what's up to the boys up there. We're at 1,336 crits though. That's not bad. We're making our way up. All right, what's up, boys? Good to be home. Let me get the fuck out of my face. Okay, throw the decoy, hit the Aether Shroud, and I'm, I went through the wall. Okay, maybe Colonel's isn't the best for Aether Shrouding. I, all I really did was lose time. I know that wall was thin enough to Aether Shroud through. Maybe a speedrunning tactic. Okay, I forgot that mimics just do not observe uh, the decoys. They do not care about them. And we need to get out of here. I, I guess there's no point in sitting in a grind spot anymore. Our strat for staying alive up there is not working. So I guess we're we're off to training. What's the most optimal spot to train? Probably helipad, right? I already have like a bunch of the gates open there. So it's probably gonna mess up the spawns a little bit. We can work with it. Let's head to helipad and I'll repair my armor on the way. I think what I'll do is try to focus on the elites and then I'll just train up and decoy. Get the crits a little easier. We're just gonna be doing a whole lot of training. So I'm just gonna cut a bunch of stuff out here. Because all we're gonna be doing is running in a circle, throwing decoys, getting crits. So I'll try to show you guys the important parts. Like if we unlock any camos along the way, we go down. If any crazy stuff happens, I'll let you know. Oh, there's our chemical camo. 2,500 kills while packed. And we're about 500, 600 crits away from getting this done. Oh, shit. No, no. Oh, our first down of the day. I was literally, I, I didn't say it because I didn't want to jinx myself. But I guess I can jinx myself by thinking it. I was going to say, we actually haven't gone down yet today. So I was looking at my cash and I'm at like, like 200 something thousand. But there we go. It took us until round 41 for me to go down. And just me mindlessly training and not paying attention. Let's try not to keep that going though. So I, I guess I'll just buy the rest of my perks at the end of this round. Because I, I love to just rush right to the Wonder Fizz. Try to buy all my perks back and then I go down again, losing even more money. At least we still got a dead shot. That's the most important thing. Actually, we got our Aether Shroud. I'm going to go use it. Grab our perky workies. There we go. And repair the armor. Oh, I accidentally grabbed Elemental. I haven't had Elemental this whole time, but I guess we're using it now. Oh, we unlocked Elemental Pop skills. Speaking of Elemental Pop. All right. Almost done with the round. And we made it. Round 42. Man, that sucks. I really wanted to have a perfect game, but I actually be jinxing myself even if I don't say it out loud. We're at 1,961 crits. Uh, we can get this within the next round. Maybe we can get it before Orta even gets here. Oh, Shatter Blast. No. This is why I didn't want Elemental Pop. It's just taken away from my crits. I almost went the whole game without Elemental Pop too until I panic bought it. They should really have like a an item on the map, like a stomach pump. And I can get my stomach pump for elemental pop because I do not want it. And I'm not about to go down just to buy everything back. I really just want to remove a perk. Because now we're at 2,013 crits. We are extremely close. Extremely close. And this should be the round right here. Oh, and it's Ord around. We might be able to get this while Ord is there. So if we can't beat him, we can at least get Gold Viper right in front of his eyes. Let me make sure that I have enough ammo. There we go. I'll grab the Napalm. But there's no way we beat Orta here. If we couldn't beat him on 30, we're not beating him on 43. We can beat all of his little minions' asses. Get some nice crits. Come on down, Orta. Nice to see you. We're cordial now. All right, zombies are spawning. Let's get them. There we go. Knocking out the crits. We got to be extremely close here. Nope. <laughs> we literally went up by 20. I thought we had way more than that. Okay, a whole nother group coming in. Yeah, go ahead and prolapse, Orta. I'm not touching it. Thing's gross. Oh, get the fuck off me, zombies. What about that one? You ever think of that? I don't think so. You zombies only think about yourselves. Now, what I have noticed, I mean, I've known this for a while, but zombies won't drop anything during assault waves. Like, no salvage, no anything. But even with mule kick, they won't drop ammo. Like, when you have your mule kick tiered up, they still won't even drop ammo during an assault wave, which kind of sucks. I had to spend a little bit on ammo there. But I guess I was going to have to anyways. Since if we don't beat Orta, we don't get the max ammo reward. We're at 2,065 crits now. Oh, there goes Shatter Blast. Perfect. Thank you. Exactly what I need. All right, let's see if we can take out Orta now. I don't think any more zombies are spawning in at the moment. Where's a spot where I can hit him? His hitbox is so fucked. I can only hit him in the pubis. And he's just sitting there watching. Oh, shit. Don't stop on me. Ooh. Hey, what? I Aether Shrouded out of there. That's bullshit. I played the Quick Revive music and everything. I'd even quick revive. I'm literally just shooting him in the cankle. I mean, it's doing damage, but it's not going to kill him. Yeah, shotguns are cheeks against Orta. Speaking of cheeks, let's shoot him in his. All right. I mean, we got him almost a half health there. So I feel like if he was a little more closer in range when the whole assault wave started, we'd be able to get him. I guess we'll turn on Pex power for this little bitch. If we can't get Gold Viper in front of Orta, maybe we can get it in front of Peck. 
Wait, there's a reactor out there? Oh, it's underneath. I'm stupid. I was like, in all my days of playing Firebase Z, I've never seen the reactor out of this room. I'm just stupid. And I hit a nuke. I'm even dumber. None of those kills count towards the reactor, I don't think. The shotgun master. Oh, and we finished the reactor. So I just wasted that aether shroud. We have ammo again. We're at 2,095 crits. I think we needed 2,180. So we're about 100 crits away. I did say we're going to get it in front of Peck. So let's go do that. Can we get 100 more or I guess 90 more? 90 more crits in here. We're not going to do it if there's manglers afoot. We're going to take you out. There's also mimics. Oh, not Shatter Blast. Dickhead ass Shatter Blast. Taking out the entire horde of zombies. I mean, Shatter Blast is sick and all. But I'm trying to get camo. Shatter Blast, don't you even show your face around here. I don't even want to be thinking about Shatter Blast. So another decoy right by Peck's window. Look at this, Peck. Look at me. Oh, my Shatter Blast. Peck did that one. He triggered that one. Check this one out. About to get Gold Viper right in front of you, Peck. What do you guys say about that? You really just need 50 more. Round 45. Actually, this kind of works out because we're going to finish it this round and we'll be able to exfil. I guess all is well. Okay, we just need 40 more kills now. Throwing the decoy out. Check me out, Peck. Where can we go? I actually hate... I, I hate Elemental Pop. So many of those weren't crits because Brain Rot was going in. Deadwire was going in. Shatter Blast is going off. I would have had this two rounds ago without Elemental Pop. We're getting no crits now. Is that it, though? We just leveled up. Gold Viper, please. Metals, gold viper, shotgun, diamond, camo. What? We got diamond? Holy shit! I didn't know we we're that close. I thought it was gonna be three shotguns. I forget the other two are DLC. Let's go. We didn't weep, Peck. Eat my dick. We just got that done. All right, now fuck this. I'm nading. Eat those nades. You especially, mangler. I'm gonna go grind the rail now. Celebratory, grind the rail. Oh wait, hold on. And grind the rail. There we go. We did it with PhD too. The rail is on fire. All right, we're all out of decoys. I'm grabbing cashmere's. Gonna aether shroud to start up the reactor, whatever this is. Axfil, and we're getting out of here. Ooh, look how fast we are. We're schmoving. Wait, does activating the Axfil kind of work like a revive? Because that's kind of what the speed I was running at was. Okay, eat a cashmere. Enjoy that. Ooh, eat that up. Still 28 hostiles. Not for long. Cashmere, baby. The rest of the zombies wouldn't know I hit them. You know what? We can go right here. Guess what? Crafting some more. Crafted two more. There's only four zombies left. I'm still going to get them. Whoa. Look at this. The brain rot's... He's moonwalking. Ooh. That was sick. Our brain rot just moonwalked into ending the game. But we ain't going to waste these cashmere's. They're going to do nothing for us sitting in our inventory. Our other one just disappeared, though. So that sucks. Let's just get out of here. Bring me home, Raptor 1. Bring me home. All right. Our final stats, 3,206 kills just went up there. And 2,182 crit. One down. Could have had no downs. But we, uh, we fumbled the bag a little bit. All right, let's take a look at what the mastery camos look like here on the Gallo. This is Golden Viper. Not bad. Uh, I wish it would cover more of the gun. It seems like there's a whole lot of empty space there, but I'm sure it looks better in game. And here is Plague Diamond. This is what you like to see in coverage. It covering literally everything on the gun besides that little ember sighting point. I see you. Don't think I don't. But there you have it. We have Plague Diamond on our shotguns now. Really wasn't expecting that. I didn't think it was only two. But we are six out of nine classes for Dark Aether. Shout out sex. So yeah, let's go ahead, hop in game and see what these bad boys look like in there. All right, this is what the Gal looks like in game with Gold Viper on it. Honestly, not bad. Uh, with no attachments on it, you can hardly even see the spots that don't have Gold Viper on it. It's just a little bit here and there, but it looks pretty good in my opinion. Not bad. Now let's go ahead and see what it looks like with Plague Diamonds. Let me switch classes here. Oh, what does this thing do? And this is what the Gal looks like with Plague Diamond on it. This thing is beautiful. Oh, did not mean to wave. But hello. <laughs> but here is Plague Diamond. It covers basically about the whole thing. Uh, the diamond coverage looked pretty minimal uh, in the gunsmith, but you definitely see a lot here when you're holding it in your hand. And then it has that purple metal on it towards the front. Very, very nice looking weapon. Just get one more look at it. Nice spin around. Maybe a little slower spin would be better. But there you have it. We actually got another class done. I was not expecting that at all. Our shotguns are now finished. So now we only have pistols launchers and tack rifles left but there is dlc weapons that we will be doing after we unlock dark aether but for now i just want to get those classes that we don't have plague diamond yet so make sure you leave your suggestions down below as well as the map you want me to play on but i think that's where we're gonna have to end the video so if you guys like this and you want to see more go ahead and leave a like on it if you didn't and you don't dislike if you're new here please consider subscribe and put out all kinds of cod content throughout the week that's gonna be it for me today i'll see you guys next time later